Oh no, like even more branching paths. This isn't good. Ooh, it looks like I chose right. Look at that. Uh, no, I don't want a daze. Ah, ah. That water was cold. Great. Another one. His name is Paul. I mean, really cold. You think you know... You think you know cold? Try breathing ice water. You know if they live in it, dude. Yes, human. One of the reasons we chose this frigid wasteland was for the cold. So that nobody would bother us. <clears throat> I'm talking like super cold. Like the kind of cold where electrons stop moving. The kind of cold that would make the vacuum of space want warm. Flam flannel pajamas. <laughs> okay. I think we get the point. The water is so cold it hurt my feelings. <laughs> we get it. It's very cold. <laughs> I'm sorry, it cracked me. <laughs> I like this game. I like this game a lot. What do you want? Wait, rewind. D did you say great another one? <laughs> yes, we've had quite a few visitors lately. Far too many. Just yesterday, an ice dragon came to us. An ice dragon? Um, how did he fit through the hole in the, uh, the ice? Yesterday's ice cave was much larger. larger. That's besides the point. What do you want? Oh, great and mighty Tusker leader. Please, call me Paul. Oh, great and mighty Paul. I come here to offer Dreg's words, hand and friendship, and ask for your help. The dragon that visited you two yesterday, was it sent by Aisha, the Ice Elf Queen? Yes, it was also... it also came. Seeking assistance, what do you have to offer? I, uh, didn't bring anything. I've got half a sandwich in my backpack. It might be a little soggy, but well, at least your offer is more reasonable. All the dragon promised us was death if we did not join her. <laughs> but we Tuskers are proud and do not respond to threats if we are caught in the middle of a war we did not start. Then it will be the side the peop then it will then we will side with the people who came to us in friendship if we are with you, human. That's excellent news, Paul. I will tell my people at once. You and that dragon seem most frightened of Aisha. If she tried to get us to join with fear, maybe she did the same to the ice dragons. Speak to them. If you can convince them to join us as well, this war may be over before it begins. Hmm. There is even the smallest chance that the war can be avoided. I'll have to check it out. Thanks again, Paul. Farewell, human. All of our hopes are peace for peace are riding on you. All right. Uh, I see yours, Helen. Cool. Uh, heal. Reinvite you. I don't know why it keeps taking him off. What's that look like, anyway? Sorry, I have a burning curiosity to know what <laughs> my loot. That, that looks 
interesting. All right, more quests, the snow fields. We have to go talk to the who? Oh right, he hates dragons. <laughs> what do you mean we have to talk to the ice dragons? Don't talk to those, those monsters don't talk to our kind. We have to try. The Tusker leader, Paul, said that the dragons seemed frightened. Or frightened. Dragons might feel forced into fighting. The only thing I've ever seen a dragon fear is me. <laughs> You're missing the bigger picture. If we can conv convince these dragons to come to our side, then we might be able to avoid this war. I've spoken to Linus, Garal, and Gajub. They all sent messengers to the dragons to meet us on the snowfields near the mainland shore. I'm telling you, nothing good will come of this, but still. If the dragons are afraid of something, then I'd like to know what it is. One can never have too many weapons. Plus, sending them a message that we want to meet is a great way to draw them out. Dude, you need to calm down. Besides, when things do go wrong, you might need my help to battle the ice dragons. That's fine with me, but remember, we're gonna talk first. We won't want fighting, or we won't fight unless we need to. Let's go. Oh, brought him anyway. Ah, uh, da, da, da. I guess, I guess we have to fight. Nothing, no prelude here. Just, oh wait, these guys are dragons. I can actually like, we can actually see Galanoth's well, this is gonna look very impressed. Oh, never mind. Got him. Galanoth is already in the party. So here. After I hit him with the uh, whatever it was here, this probably will. <laughs> nice. Oh. I don't know how long this is going to last, but, you know. <clears throat> I just really enjoy that. He is just molly whopping them. Nice. You know, oftentimes when this game talks about dragons, I kind of tend to only think about the giant ones, like when we uh, make Interceptor big, or like the one that we saw at the beginning of the game, but this is still very draconic. To be fair, kind of looks like a kind of looks like one of the gargoyles from you know gargoyles, like a blue version of a uh, Brooklyn. That kind of looked like you could walk up here, but I guess not. Oh, three of them. Not all at once, though. That's interesting. I thought for sure that's going to be what that indicated. Oh, nice. And get him. 
Oh. Wait, yeah. The dot got him. Oh, there they are. The actual, like, big ice dragons. Ice dragons. Don't start. <laughs> or don't you start. One Arctic's was bad enough. Control yourself. <laughs> oh, that's a great reference. We received your messages, human. We have come. Say what you need to say. Oh, great and my mighty ice dragons. <laughs> I like how he... I like how every one of these he's begun with sucking up. <laughs> Snark. <laughs> oh, great and powerful ice dragons. Cough, whips, cough. <laughs> Quit it. Oh, mighty dragon of the north. Mighty? Or mightly? <laughs> it seems like the canned snack that you brought us as an offering has something to say. Offering? Well, I should rip your horns off and stuff them up here. <laughs> Enough. Oh, no. Dalinoth, the Dragon Slayer, and the Hero of Falcon Reach. It is a pleasure to finally meet both of you. I am Aisha, the new Queen of the Ice Elves, and ruler of the Ice Dragon Army. Uh, I skipped that last one, I'm sorry. Uh, but most I caught was I am also in the uh, possession of the Elemental Orb of Ice. I thought it might have taken the orb, or you might have taken the orb. It would take an item of m amazing power to control these Ice Dragons. So that's how she's controlling them? That is what is that why they're afraid of her? It is true, the orb is very powerful. It has increased my own natural magic several hundred times. Oh man. You see, my people can only exist in this polar environment in order to flourish and grow. Then we need the rest of Lore to be as cold as the frozen Northlands. You need to calm down. You don't need the whole world if you it seems like you guys were living just fine this way. I've been using the orb's power to make the polar ice sheet grow faster than it ever would on its own. Through the process of global cooling, my people will soon cover the face of the world in our empire. Or cover the face of the world in our empire will rule all of the warm races. We have begun our conquest by crushing all the pathetic human settlements in my kingdom. Drakesvard is all that remains. Once you humans are gone, we will wipe out or enslave the other races of the north. As I use the ice orb to expand our sphere of influence... <laughs> Funny, since the ice orb itself is a sphere. More and more of your people will meet the same fate. Finally, your sad little race will be wiped from the face of floor, and my people will rule their frozen paradise, as it was meant to be. I don't understand your hatred of us, Aisha. Once the humans and ice elves lived side by side. Humans and ice elves could accomplish so much together if we worked. Or accomplish so much if we worked together rather than wasting our energy fighting. What makes you believe that your people are so superior? What makes you believe that my people are the ice elves? Oh. Oh. She's a dragon dragons have always been superior to humans it'll simply take a, it is simply our place in the natural order my people the ice dragons have been waiting for centuries for a leader like me to come along then why is she pretending to be an ice elf or why did she assume ruler or ruling the ice elves I plan to put the dragons, especially ice dragons, back in their rightful place on all the thrones of the world. The elemental orb of ice is just the key we have been waiting for. 
We dragons know that Sepulchre is grabbing the orbs, and we are gathering the orbs, and we know why. We know that you are trying to stop him, but neither of you has a right to our magic, and I plan on taking them back. You and that traitorous whelp, Interceptor, will be taught our, your place in time. But first things first, Dregsvard. My brothers, kill Galanoth. I want the hero taken alive. T what? Why? <laughs> Once you are done, return to me. We march on Dregsvard soon. As you wish, Queen Aisha. Oh, where did I go? Oh, snap. Two ice dragons. Uh, well, at least they uh, are weak to fire. We're definitely gonna boost Galanoth's critical hit right here, or damage. Ooh. first. Oh, yes. Gallon off. Ow. Alrighty. Uh, you are next. Ah, plus 30% damage. Cool. Um, I don't know if it's just I think I think there's several waves of dragons to fight actually I could be wrong let's uh let's just finish this clown off well I wanted to finish him off but Ooh, 70 nice. <laughs> okay his face when it's on the ground there is rather comical uh, 115. This pleases me. I think I've lost all my blocking power. Dragon magic, power boost. So that's what that does. Cool. Oh, that's hitting each of us. Ouch. Alright. I think this turn will be his last. Ooh, yes it will! 174. And there's no, and there's no wave. Okay, cool. I thought I might have to fight, like, two more sets of them. Aisha's plan is global cooling. With the elemental ice orb, she may be able to pull it off. Defeating her is more important than ever. Looks like a war between the dragons, the ice elves. Uh, yeah, whatever. Prepare for war. Uh, 37 minutes. Cool. Heal up. Gary. Aisha's army is in ruins, and we've got the stragglers on the run. We've got to face down the general of the ice dragon army while we can, whoever he is. So, I... I don't know why, because usually when there's like a war involved in one of these quest chains, they will take you to the war. The way he just described this to me sounds like we're doing the boss fight, because usually I will do at least one wave just to, you know, show the point or give you the idea. But whatever. Now we get to face down the general of... Oh, there we go. Fight beside Galanoth. Fight beside, uh... Um... Yeah. Um, let's see what we got here. Good to, f good to see you. The Kilgwins are with you. 
That's a... You can talk to someone else now. What, you were expecting a big long speech about our noble race or whatever? I don't think so. I said the Kilguins are with you. What else do you need to know? I kind of, like, skipped over Grawl here. As the shaman of my tribe, I am here to represent the Ursai savages. I speak for them on... In matters of war, my voice is their voice. I chose attacking on many different fronts and trying to drive our new union apart. But I know that the only way any of us survive is if we stand united against her. The Tuskers are a proud and solitary people, but, but they see that Aisha only brings destruction. We tend to not meddle in the affairs of others, but that will only buy us time. There are some who say that our home and peace are being attacked because we stuck our tusks where they didn't belong. Those tuskers are fools. My people are stubborn, but not stupid. They will see if you give them time. Looks like one of his tusks are broken. Okay, I thought I went to, like, shops, but... Uh -oh. Anyway. You know, we've been fighting, uh, fighting beside Galanoff the whole time. I am going to fight with Linus. <laughs>